What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm trying out Chrome Azaro Legend. Um, this is one that I have seen for sure. I know, I think we all know like the Chrome Azaro. You can get it at TJ Maxx, you can get it at Ross, you can get it at Marshalls. Um, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's like, I would compare it to like a Nautica. It's, um, it's a classic. It's, it's nothing special. It's worth the price point of what you can find it at, which is typically $30 about, depending on the bottle size. Um, but I've never tried the Legend version. I've just tried the classic like Chrome Azaro and like the blue bottle. This one I am very intrigued about. I will say I am butthurt because this was, I wanna say $70 maybe looking online literally right now and seeing it for 30 bucks at Walmart. Um, a couple of fragrance outlets, like I'm not gonna say their name, but you know, so you have to be careful with fragrance outlets because the, a lot of them sell knockoffs. But like, really, I'm it's Sephora doesn't even carry it. So to see it sold by no shade, but like I'm way overpaid for this guy. So hopefully it delivers. Um, I mean, the Chrome Azaro always was a good one the the old school one the legend let's see let's see what this is about this is uh the bigger bottle this is 4.2 fluid ounces 125 milliliters um the box is pretty standard uh, i'm not even really sure i should have looked into and done a little bit more homework I'm not, Azaro, I'm not familiar with this house, if it's a designer or fashion brand or who makes this. I should have looked that up, but uh, let's open her up and see how she smells. Here we go, Chrome Legend. Uh, the box is cool. It's a little chromatic effect. All right, let's see what the Unicarton looks like. We've got the Azaro logo up top. It is embossed. I do feel like this product is authentic. It should be at the <laughs> price it was. And okay. So I got a little ahead of myself, Unicarton, uh, nothing special, it's just white, no branding, whatever. But sometimes I'm going to say like, I, speaking of Chrome Azaro and Nautica, which I have mentioned before, sometimes like the classic ones, even though they've been around for years, like think of CK1, things like that, they're bangers. They always hit, they always deliver. Yeah, it's not like new or innovative or like multi-layered fragrance, but it smells good. You know what? It, it, it's reliable. It, I don't know. Wear it to work. You know, you're not going to break the bank. Not in this case, but who look at the bottle though. It's cool. Um, not entirely sure if the liquid is blue or the bottle is blue, but judging by it, it looks like the fragrance is blue, but not too sure. It does have this blue to green, again, kind of chromatic effect. Um, it says Azaro, and 
the lettering is raised on the glass here. I don't know if you can hear it. All right, let's give it a smell. Here we go. Chromazaro atomizer, nothing special. Um, yeah, it's it's good. It's what I expected it to be. It's very lemony. It has like a nice citrus zest to it. It's very fresh. Um, I know I use the term body washy a lot to talk about certain uh, I don't know, cheaper men's fragrances or more affordable men's fragrances sometimes have a tendency to have like this very generic musk and nothing else smell. This is actually very bright. It's very bright. It does have that kind of blue aroma to it, like a Nautica blue. Um, I would put them in the same category. Was this worth $70? Not now that I know that you can get it elsewhere, but I probably did know that in my back by head, but it was just a, a happenstance that that's where it came from. However, uh, yeah, great. I mean, if you can get a bottle this size for $30, I would say uh, it's worth it for sure. It smells nice. Let's do uh, one more. Yeah, it's great. It's, uh, it's timeless, it's citrusy, it's bright. It's vibrant, it's not at all musky or uh, cedary. It just is very crisp and clean. And actually for the price point that you can get this fragrance, I would say it's a good deal. Um, I would totally recommend this. I approve it, I like it, I think it's great. Um, let me know if you've tried this, if, um, Maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong about fragrances in the past. I don't always do my homework. Let me know if you've tried this, what you think about it. If you like the classic one, if you like this one, what you think about it. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hit me up in the comments below. I love chatting with you guys. I love answering your questions, hearing your comments, all that stuff. And as always, uh, would love it if you enjoy this content. Please like and subscribe and I will make more of it in the future. Uh, can't wait to review another one with you guys soon. Thanks again. Bye.